Coach Marinelli, you guys have the uh, the combine coming up, Midwest Combine, correct? Yes. Uh, you know, I talked to Coach Zucker, and you know, he is like that guy. He knows logistics, I think. Yeah, yeah. He's and he's been working on it pretty hard. I like the website. I like everything I'm seeing. Um, but as far as you know, brainchild, you know, he he doesn't specifically point to your idea, his idea, anyone's idea. That's the coaching staff's idea. But what do you want to get out of? What do you want? And not necessarily Mark Marinelli wants to get out of it. But what do you want kids to get out of a combine? And what's important about it? Well, I want I want uh, to be able to get coaches here from around the state and around the area to see the talent that the state has um, and be able to do it in a manner that uh, shows a, a bit, uh, our wrestlers off a little bit better. Looking at, you know, uh, whenever these combines, they're starting to pop up, you know, like mm -hmm. I did one in Georgia mm -hmm. earlier in the summer, yeah. but when you talk about a, a combine, what are you going to do? What's the, what's the order of operations? What's the, what's the ideas and what can you do differently or the same as, as other combines? Well, I've, I haven't really uh, partaken in other combines, but I think that we want to get the uh, information to the coaches, and then we want to be able to uh, let the coaches see the kids drill and wrestle and against different types of competition and be able to do it in a time frame that's better for them and better for the wrestlers. Some, some, some really good wrestlers don't have the ability to go to all these big tournaments because maybe they're at smaller schools and they're an unknown quant, you know, they're unknown, but they're really good. So you can sometimes get a, a, a kid who might not have the great workout partners that a lot of these other schools have, and he can be really, really good, but not too many people know about him. And he might not get a look, and he might, might have been a guy that could have wrestled in college and maybe gave up on it. So, and then there's a lot of, a lot of blue chips and diamonds and rough in there, and we want we want coaches to be able to get a look at these guys. How much of a draw is this right here? I look at this wrestling room. It's one of the, you know, it's the state-of-the-art facility. How much of a draw is this for your combine? Because I went to, the one I went to was at the compound facility in Georgia. Mm -hmm. And they have a good amount of mat space, but they don't have, they got about half the mat space you got. How much of, you know, this facility is a draw? Well, I think the draw is that you can get right on top of it. You can, the coaches can sit, these, uh, the bleachers right there, and they can actually see the guys wrestling okay and the other thing about it sometimes you you got guys who are go to tournament they do really well and they've got good ability but their their work ethic doesn't match their ability and in college you better you better have a strong work ethic and you better have a lot of effort and you'll see that probably more in a practice than you will in a match yeah. could we see someone from the university of iowa here you know a lot of the schools I'm just saying, I don't know, you and Coach Brands yeah. might have butted heads a couple of times in college. No. I, I mean, from a wrestling standpoint, yeah, we butted heads, but I've never butted heads with him on anything other than that. I respect what he does, and you know, I actually like watching, watching him coach, and I like watching those guys wrestle. And I like, I like rooting for a high state when we wrestle in Iowa. <laughs> but I, I don't have anything personal against uh, Brands or any other guy that's beat me before. Um, I, I hope he can send some guys here and. Because there's a lot of good wrestling in this in this area, and not just Ohio, but Indiana, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, West Virginia. All these all these programs, all these states are got really good high quality wrestlers. Have any um, out of state kids uh, committed yet? I mean, the Ohio kids I saw mm -hmm. were incredible. Yeah, there there are. I mean, the Ohio kids that you have coming here mm -hmm. are going to draw other kids. I'm sure you guys have a pretty good idea that that's probably going to happen. Yeah. Well, um, Mike's in charge of all that, so he'd be better to to know from that. I'm just setting the facility up, helping to run practice and helping some with other things. But when we started talking about this and beating it up because we we hashed things up quite a bit, I, I decided just to turn all that over to him because that's what he does really well. He's a logistics kind of guy, like you said. So he's really good at doing this and doing uh, collecting data and sorting it and all those types of things. And you know, I'd rather just run the practice and and you know get things going. And that's what I'm going to do, and he's doing the other end of it. What do you want that diamond in the rough walking away saying about this combine? I want him saying, I can, I can compete with these guys. I'm, I'm capable of, of wrestling at a higher level. And if, if given the opportunity to walk on or to get a scholarship at another, another college and, and continue to, to uh, pursue my education and do it while I'm wrestling, I can do that. And I've made contacts with a lot of these coaches, and they got my information. So... I can I can contact them. They can contact me, and you know I do have a I do have the ability to wrestle um, in college. 
And I don't know if you know this, but recently Otterbein, a, a Division Three wrestling program, just Westerville? added. Yeah, just added wrestling. Ten minutes away? Ten minutes away. They just added wrestling. So, you know, uh, a, a school like that uh, could benefit. Is going to benefit from this as well, but every school could. As a college coach, if you can get a bunch of good athletes in one, in one area, and you can look at them and see them and talk to them and, and watch them, that's better than going to 10, 15 tournaments, I would think. What did college wrestling do for you? I know what it did for me. I would be uh, being a horrible iron worker right now if I hadn't had college wrestling to help me get through the education program and be involved with a team and on a team for five years. Where would Mark Marinelli be without college wrestling? I don't know, but I'm grateful for the opportunities that I had at High State. I don't know exactly where I would be or what I would Knuckle be. dragger? Would you be a knuckle dragger most likely? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't know. Your dad's a blue collar guy like yeah, my dad is. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just like. Well, I got a strong work ethic and I'm not afraid to work. So, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I'd be successful with whatever I'm doing, but I'm really passionate and I'm. I think I'm called to be a teacher and a coach, and, and I'm fortunate that Ohio State gave me that opportunity to, to do that. So you think it got? Did it get? Did wrestling get you through college? Do you think? Do you think it really helped you stay? Uh, it gave me. A, it was a vehicle. So um, wrestling was a vehicle to help me get my education. Too many guys are good wrestlers, but they let wrestling use them, and they don't. They don't have balance in their grades and the and, the, and, and social life. So you know, wrestling gave me the opportunity, but my supporting cast of my family and my teammates and my coaches really helped me finish it up. So that's what you want those kids to get out of, the same opportunity in the vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Because if, if you go to college and you play a sport, you're, you're, you're going to graduate better than the average kids do. That's like a real fact, actually. That's a real fact. I don't yeah. actually have the statistic on that's me. High. That's like, those are numbers that are real numbers. That's right. The people that are involved, involved in the sport, they end up graduating at a much higher level. And, so. they, and they don't transfer, they don't leave schools because once you go to school you don't like it and you leave, it's harder to get into another college. And that whatever can tie you into that college for a couple more years and maybe four years will help you graduate. All right, I like it. Graduation is yeah. the ultimate goal, go to college. Yeah, the ultimate goal is you know, to, to grow, I guess. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for the time today, yeah. man. No, you're welcome. Always Thank good to talk out. to you. I feel wiser. Uh, I, like, I like talking to you. You're a great guy. All right, <laughs> really Coach. appreciate your family, too. Yeah, man. Well, let's go get some, some lunch or yeah, something. Yeah, let's go grab some chow.